I love them. Thanks, LP. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday. We are up. We are racing around. We are doing all the things that need to get done. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Loves me. Yeah, that's so funny. This is not even normally our dogs stick to their owners, but this dog sticks to Gabby lately. So oh, because I accidentally bonded with her, and I have a huge blanket. Yeah, she actually was here when I sat down. Yeah, she accidentally bonded with that dog. It was totally an accident, and she has my heated blanket. She was there when she sat down, but yeah, doesn't it look like a happening Saturday? We got dust pan. Hey, that's coffee. You don't want that. Hey. Say hi to her friends. She's like, get away from me. Best friends. Unfortunately, this cat does not love this dog as much as this dog loves this cat. Anyways, good morning. It's actually going to be a happening a Saturday. It is 20 to 10 a.m. and we are all dressed. Our hair is all done. We're ready for the day. Um, the girls are unexpectedly leaving us. They're going to the old barn our old barn, they're having a play day, they're having a schleich day with Molly and Chloe and Kaylee. Isn't that amazing? I'm so excited for them. So while they do that, Sam and I have other plans. All right, it's happening. The girls are gone. Kaylee's parents came and picked them up and they're taking them to the old barn. And then we're gonna go and pick them up and drive Kaylee home after. So first stop on our agenda today is to get food like yummy food like desserts tim hortons coffee and treats and we just passed it just passed it we're going to the other one that's less busy this girl did not have any breakfast yet i'm so hungry Stop number two without our daughters, the barn. We're at the barn because Storm's getting shoes today and we're gonna meet the fairy, farrier here. Actually, we probably don't have to meet him here, but yeah, we always do. We never miss, we never miss anything. Um, and speaking of missing, Gabby was losing her mind because she couldn't be here today. She was like ready to give up her friends to come and watch the farrier put shoes on her horse. That's how much she loves her horse. All right, so I got my shopping boots on. So I volunteered Sam to go get Storm, and it's gonna be funny because, oh, he knows, you guys. You see what's happening here? He loves us all, he doesn't just love Gabby. Oh, don't ever let Gabby see this footage. Aw, um, we have the best horse. Such a good boy. Aw. It's amazing how smart they are. 
Like they're just amazing. <laughs> He's so smart, so willing, so ready. And where's our mare? Stella's over there. All we can see is her butt. I don't think she knows we're here, to be honest. She didn't hear any screaming and yelling. It's when they hear the screaming and yelling that they know we're here. Stella! Stella! That girl has my heart. So let him have a little grass. You guys, if you do one thing today with your horses, take five minutes to just do something nice for them. Just something nice. Let them eat a little grass. Give them a nice little massage. Just do something that he likes. Let him have a little bit of happy. All right, things have changed. She's like, wait a minute. You usually get one of us and then the other. Like, why aren't you coming to me? She knows you guys. She was just standing there staring straight at us. Yeah, there you go, see? She doesn't know if she should come. She doesn't know if we want her. She's confused. Oh, Stella, I want you. If I didn't have my mall boots on, I'd be coming in there just to pet you. I need to go in. Ground is hard. You can go in there. All right, I might go in there just to pet her. Or she's looking at her brother thinking, why the heck is he having grass? <laughs> Look, you guys should see. Like, all those other horses moved away, and she's just still standing there. She was just staring at us. Like, if you come to the gate, well, if you come to the gate, Missy, I'll give you the world. You met me at the gate, you'd be having grass even though you're not allowed to have grass. We're gonna get you fixed up, my love. We're gonna get you fixed up. And we are never taking those shoes off again. I promise, because now we know. Two times, we know. We know he needs them. And that's okay. Yeah. He's like, what's going on here? It's so quiet. There's no kids running around. Oh, you're so handsome and so good. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are. Don't worry, Gabby's not trading you in. So this is the vet stall or the farrier stall. This is where it all goes down. <laughs> Basically, he's saying, get me more apples. <laughs> we, we're the sucker kind of owners. He knows, you know, right? You just gotta ask him, we'll give you whatever you want. Yeah, don't you dare. Suddenly, he only has three feet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's not allowed to paw the ground because his owner gets him in trouble if he paws the ground. So all he's allowed to do is lift his foot up. All right. Okay. So these are Storm's shoes. Uh, well, we had them taken off two weeks ago. Anyway, he's getting shoes on. He's also getting pads on. And he's also getting little studs or little um, corks or something. I forget what he called them. Uh, because to help him in the snow. So, yeah. So when Storm got his shoes off... I watched him for like three days and I was like, wow, he did well. He, he seemed to just keep going. He seemed to be doing well. And then over the like last week, so we had them off for a week. And then the next week I started to notice like a slow decline in his movement and like how he looked and how he seemed to feel and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, and it happened before with us too. He needs shoes. <laughs> He's like so confused. He's like, I do not know why I'm here. Let's see. Oh, dirt on your eye. Oh, that's a cut. Our farrier is 20 minutes behind, so I decided I'm gonna go out and visit Stella. Um, you know it's love when you risk your mall boots to see your horse who's staring at me. Come on. Come here, look. Hoo hoo. A baby apple for you if you come. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to walk through the mud. So if you want the apple, you got to come and get it. Come on. I know you want it. Oh, there's some horses that want it. I don't want to go out there, Stella. Come on. It's nice and dry, he says. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Hmm. Treat. Retreat. Stella, basically, if you want an apple, you're going to have to come. 
<laughs> I'm like trying to get to her. Uh, spoiled brat, that's what she is. And they're all just staring at me. They're like, what is she doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> the poop is frozen. As long as I stick to the poop on my, bar on my mall shoes, I'm good. Listen, Missy. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Oh, hello to you too. Could you come now? <laughs> you guys. Maybe she's just running off of that mean girl. Hey, get. It's get. She's not running off. Look, look what mama brought you. Oh, what a fancy girl. Did you guys see that? Wait, I just want to pet you. Get. Go. Get. Go. Oh, you're dirty. Good girl for coming halfway. Meeting me halfway. And I'm using my barn, my mall gloves. Oh, so good. Get. Oh, God, now I'm... Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> I have a little bit of Sophie in me. Oh, no. That is why you do not bring food into the paddock. Our poor girl. Our poor non-confrontational girl was just confronted. Oh, you're okay, honey. I'm sorry. Sorry for causing a fight. But thank you for coming to me. You're amazing. I love you. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, you guys, I feel like she wants me to take her. She wants me to take her out. Yes. Even if it, oh, I'm moving. Let me get out of here. Thought she was about to follow me. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this. Never again without Gabby, ever. Storm has been acting like a wild man. I've never seen him this active, this stressed out, this upset. Sam tried to take him into the arena and walk him around while we were waiting, and then he couldn't catch him. <laughs> and you know Storm, anybody can catch him. <laughs> He's like, get me out of this place. Okay, so, oh, I'll explain the whole thing, but do you guys notice in addition to Storm's, do you, I don't know if Sam put those on right. He's checking him out. Yeah, our horse has bell boots. Are you okay, dude? He was freaking out, you guys. He is not patient. Oh, you're so pretty. It's funny here, it's so funny. So the boys in the backfield behind me, way in the back, were all running around, acting crazy, making noises like a stampede. Then all the boys in where our horses are, they were like all standing still doing nothing, ignoring them, just eating. And then all the girls were like, watch, wh watchmen, holy crap. Um, the girl, the, the mamas, the women, they all like rush to the front of the fence and they stand up tall and they're like looking at the boys like, you better behave. Okay, oh, it is, what time is it? Late. Yeah, like we're not getting any. One o'clock. One o'clock, we have to pick the kids up at 3.45. So, only gonna get a little bit of shopping done. But anyway, um, so this is what the farrier said. There was no bruising, no real signs of pain for Storm, except, and this makes sense. Um, so, he actually wore the inside of, like the inside of his foot right down. Yeah, so the inside of his foot kinda went like this. So he worked it down like a lot in two weeks. So uh, basically, that's enough to cause a problem, and it'll explain why. And it would explain why he went okay, went okay, went okay, and then he just started to go downhill because it takes time for it to wear away. So yeah, chances are Storm just needed his shoes, and we're good. All right, next stop, tax store. That's what we do when our kids are gone. All right, so weird. Sam doesn't know if our bell boots are the right size, but they're supposed to look like that, right? And they're on sale, so I could just get more. These ones have nice fuzz on them. And then all the ugly colors at the back. <laughs> Basically, we're just looking at some stuff. 
for Christmas. There are a couple more things that I have on my kids' Christmas list that I wanted to get for them. But I love just looking around. Like, I want tall boots still. I just haven't gone around to it yet. I really love burgundy pants. Like, Gabby wants burgundy pants, but I don't like... This is a Lation. Oh, yeah. This is a Lation brand. I hate it. Okay, so this is the clearance section. This looks comfy. And it's only $69. I just don't know what it is. And this is nice. Look how nice this is. This could go in. It's used. Yeah, that's what they want. The red and the blue? Yeah. It's used, but this could go inside the ooh, diapers. Yeah, no, I think it's only $40, but it's cute. That's a nice book. Those saddle pads, are they on sale? Okay, forget it. Walk away from the saddle pads, Laura. I still love this. Like, if I had my own horse, this is what it would be. I like it a lot. Just fuzzy and warm. We're buying our kids uh, Christmas presents so we can't vlog it because... Gabby actually asked me to do a what I got my Chris for what I got my kids for Christmas video because she thought it would be really good for our channel and I put said it no. Out Christmas Eve, so. Yeah, I put it out Christmas Eve after they go to bed. So I I saw these pants sitting here and I was like, oh my God, these remind me of my favorite pants. And then I felt them and I'm like, these I could wear these. These remind me of my favorite breeches. I flipped them over and they're the same brand as my favorite breeches. See, I can spot my favorite breeches from a mile away. Okay, so look at all these colors. Don't they look nice together? Um, I want this. Like this is the saddle pad that I use of Gabby, of Sophie's. And I want this to match. It costs 50 bucks though. They have like, these are the best ear bonnets I've ever seen. Like they, they stand up on their own. But I want that. Okay, so here's a blue one. That's the navy one. And then they have the polo wrap. We don't have any green saddle pads yet. That's pretty though. Or do we have that color? Oh. Um, so if we had come here and just bought a saddle, like a sensible person, we would have paid so much cheaper than we ended up paying. That's the like olive green. Like green. So out of, all, have olive green. out of all the colors I don't really like, it would be this one. This is like the one I like the least. That's the burnt orange. Yeah. It's beautiful. Burnt orange. Who likes burnt orange? Thumbs no way. Up. Nope. Nope. I do not want burnt orange. You know what I want? I want this one. The pink one that Sophie has. A collection. A la collection, it says on there. See, you have to collect them. Yeah, I have to collect them. They're meant to collect, <laughs> like you guys. I like this one. I like, this one. I this like the navy. Yeah, somebody favorite. at our barn bought that one. This one? Yeah, I don't oh, like but... it, though. Oh, well, look at the blue one, though. The blue one's kind of cute. Yeah, and they got, they got a green one. I love it. Like the yeah, the olive one. But my favorite color is the light pink one. So this is the brand of supplements that we use, and they have something called Premier. So I'm going to look into that and see if that's that would be good for her, for us. We also use this oh, one. Yeah, we do. So I'm also looking for something for Storm's feet because obviously he, the, the farrier said that, that it was a drastic change in his hooves, the way he wore them down in two weeks. So I definitely need a supplement for that. I'll just show you all the supplements really slow and then you guys... Pick out what I need to buy. Regular blue? Regular blue one? Yeah. All right, so Sam is in love with this blanket. It's got a high neck. Because high it's neck. got the high neck. It's this brand, Avalanche Pro. It's pretty cute. It's $200. At this point, I feel like I want to stop buying like $200. Well, most of our blankets are like $300. I want to stop buying $300 blankets and buy like the $500 blankets that are indestructible. One expensive indestructible blanket versus a whole lot of sewing repair and fixing. So I bought every single one of these little D rings that they had left, every single one, because yeah, I've been going, running out of D-rings. Storm's already walking around with the blanket sewed. But actually, it being sewed, it's been better than the D-ring. It's been lasting. 
today I was getting ready um, for the day and Sophie asked me, you know, that age old question, like, do you love Stella better or Storm better? And I was like, yeah, I love Stella better. Like, <laughs> I love Storm, but I love Stella. Like, Stella is my heart horse and it's sad. And then I said, like, Sophie, I love Stella even more than I love you. <laughs> but I was only kidding. Like, I was just making a joke with her. And she goes, no, well, you love us all. You love us both equal. <laughs> I was like, no, I love you more. I love Sophie more and Gabby more than I love Storm and Stella. But it's cl it's close. But yeah, <laughs> it was kind of funny because I love that she thinks that Stella and Storm are as worthy of all of my love as she is. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.